been concerned about is uh, difficulties from balls into the penalty area. They need somebody to head them away, and here we are with the new signing. Yeah, he's a player that... Uh, We're back, guys. Your boy Brandon is back, and we all signed a little different today. I mean, I've been back from a long time, and... Yeah, I'm making my return. Well, I'm still 15, I've got my exams coming up, so... I'll have a much more longer break. I will be having days off, so I can do videos and stuff. But, yeah, for now, for the last month before I start revising for my proper exams, I'm back. So, let's do some videos. Now, you may be wondering, guys... Well, where are the skits and stuff? Well, they will be returning as well, as you know. That's what this channel is all about. We're doing some different things on this channel, because I don't want it to just be one thing. But, as you saw in the intro, I could be putting in some videos, some funny gaming videos before the video starts so then just why not it's just funny and a lot has happened to me while I've been playing games so you know I just find it funny but anyway about this video it is one from Disneyland Paris if you've never been before and that's all right it's quite weird because if you're going there and you haven't been to Disneyland before you should watch this because the only other time that they play it is when you're actually at the hotel you don't want to know what it's called the top 10 things to do the top 10 things oh my god top 10 things to know before you go, that's it, top 10 things to know before you go. Even though you're already at the hotel. So it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, each country has its own woman that does it, and even though I don't know the language, I can just tell it's cringe. But our England representative, uh, she's called Sophie, and... Oh my god. She, she reminds me of a girl that's been left at Disneyland by her parents, and she's lived there all her life. Like, she just acts like it, and... Let's just say she's really cringe, so let's dive in and watch this video. Before you do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, obviously, and notifications. You can turn it on if you want to find out when I do a video like this. A lot of YouTubers say it, but it does mean a lot to me, so as a growing YouTuber, so without further ado, let's um, hop into it. Oh, guys, no smoking. No smoking, by the way. So, this video starts off like an intro with a woman that looks nothing like her. But anyway, let's meet Sophie. Hold on a minute. This video's a minute. This intro's a minute long. Hi, I'm Sophie. Hi, Sophie! So, let's get cracking. I can feel it's going to be one zippity dude all day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you already know how this is going to go. <laughs> and she says it's going to be a zippity dude all day. Oh god, let's get into it then. <laughs> the first thing's just new. It just says new at the bottom of number one. That's the first thing to know before you go. New. Hi, I'm standing in Fantasia Garden surrounded by not one, but two famous Disney parks. Remind you of anyone? No. You don't remind... I don't know what you're doing with your hands. You don't remind me of anyone. No, I don't. I, I'm stuck here. I'm, you got to help me. Somebody's got to help me out. I, I don't know who she's trying to react. I don't know. You, you, fi you help me, please. For daydreamers everywhere. Oh, including what? Oh, when you look at that. Yes, Sophie. It's a castle. <laughs> That's pretty mad. Yo ho, yo ho. Sorry. Oh, what? She just knocked out that parrot. Well, not only does she have a professional boxing time record with Jake Paul and KSI, she has also beaten Conor McGregor in the professional boxing record. So, you know, will we see a KSI versus Sophie? We, we don't know. We have to find out. Buzz Lightyear's laser blast. The toys are back in town. I don't know what she said about that Buzz Lightyear ride at the end, but it's down to be cringe. I recognise that tune. <gasps> well, I'd be damned. I, I didn't know that tune either. I mean, you just reminded me. London! Hi, Mum! I mean, I doubt she lives in London. I mean, just because it's England. I mean, her mum could be living in, like, Scunthorpe or something. And even if she lived in London, like, I'm surprised she's still alive. I'm surprised she hasn't been shanked up by OFB or something. Guys, I'm going to be issuing cringe at this video. Because some bits are very cringe, and if you have cringe epilepsy, then please skip about 20 seconds once the cringe alarm has been issued. Because I don't want to be responsible for any incidents during this video, so please, please keep yourself safe. Catchy tune. <laughs> what is this? What actually is this? 
No, it's not a catchy tune. It's very cringe. See, I told you guys. <laughs> I told you guys it was going to be cringe. We're only five minutes in and this is a 22 minute video. Also there is actually one when you type in top 10 things to know before you go Disneyland Paris. There is a four years ago one which is just incredibly more cringe than this one. But it's recorded. Well, I don't know how they've got it at this good quality but unless this guy's like some, what's its name, Disneyland Paris worker or something. Then And he's like got into the files then, you know. It's still pretty good though, something I can actually react to or compared to somebody just recording it on a camera or something. Family shows and attractions at Disneyland Park. Sorted. Yeah, this is another thing. Everything she says, she says sorted at the end. Like, oh, it's just annoying. It's... It's... I mean, she's considered a Disneyland legend. I mean, I believe that as well. You know, she's been around for years, but she's just really cringe. Now stay tuned, because coming up, it's my personal favourite. What <laughs> her personal favourite is the baby care centre. I mean, what other better things to do at Disneyland Paris and visit the baby care centre? You know, I'd recommend it to everyone. Okay, time for number three on the top ten things to do before you go. Meet and greet Disney characters! Ooh! She sounds way too overreacted and way too more excited to meet the Disneyland characters. I mean... <laughs> Whoa, Minnie, look, he's cheating on you now. You've got to pull back your man. Oh, my goodness. If you're easily excited, then you had better take your chill pills. <laughs> That's all right, Sophie. I've got my chill pills all packed in my pocket. I'm absolutely prepared for these rides. Because it's time to take the ride of your life. Let's see this ride of our lives. Well, this version, this is actually the one that I think they showed in the... Um, Hotel. Well, the hotel one, whenever like she said something like her favourite, the baby care centre. Or is it like an animated version? Whereas this one that actually has a like speaking in a little box. But this bit was here, you know, they changed Space Mountain into the Star Wars one, which is a terrible idea. I mean, I don't know why they did that. It still looks like Space Mountain. I mean, the only changes they made was the little f Star Wars flags at the boarding station. That was pretty much it. And inside as well. But it's. Oh my god, this is still horrible. No, look at <laughs> look at that that roller coaster was edited so badly. There's no track. Big Thunder Mountain. Woo! They literally just pick the most unentertaining clips for rides and stuff. No, it just looks so boring. Big thrill rides sorted. Ouch. Whoa, Sophie, be careful there. You just hurt yourself slapping your knee. Be careful next time. You know, that's why she's fighting parrots, guys. Lights, camera, magic. Welcome to Walt Disney Studios Park. I'm ready for my close-up. They didn't really do a close-up. Sorry, you might need to try a bit again. Ready for your big break, darlings? It's time. Fanfare, please. And get my good side for number five on the top ten things to know before you go. What is that bit before she says the number five? Like, one, I don't even know what she said, and two, like, what does it even mean? Like, get my good side, like, oh my god. Behind the scenes magic at Walt Disney Studios Park. Imagine the poor tourists, just visitors, just walking past Sophie as she, like, twists around in the middle of the studios bit, like, oh, I don't feel sorry for them, you know? Gigantic kitchen. The chase is on Bon Appetit. <laughs> the chase is on Bon Appetit? What does that even mean? You're going to get cooked or something? Hit the road with Lightning McQueen and friends on the new piston pumping new ride inspired by the Disney Pixar's film Cars. Why did they, why did they advertise this Cars ride? I mean, it's, just, it's like every other little ride at the park. Like, how is it that exciting to be like one of the big thrill rides or something? It's like, whoa, look at me, I'm spinning in a car. Uh, the Aladdin wise was just the same. Disney's finest behind the scenes magic. Sorted. <laughs> Can she stop saying sorted, man? So stop saying sorted. Get one of these. One day, two bar copper tickets. You might actually already have one in your package. I didn't see this billet bit in my little brochure thing, so I don't know what they're on about at this bit. That means I can go here. Fun overload again. Gotta watch that. Yep, you gotta watch that, Sophie. Why don't you take some of your chill pills next time? Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, Walt Disney Studios Park. Hop to it. 
She actually hopped. I mean, you know what I mean by like. I just blinked, Sophie. I'm sorry. Did I miss anything? A really big explosion. Um, it's not an explosion, Sophie. <laughs> I don't think that's how the theme of the Tower of Terror goes, you know. I mean, I don't know myself, but I reckon she did a pretty bad job. And Crush's coaster. Whoa, cool dude, yeah. That was really cringe how she did the Nemo thing. But no, it gets better. Listen to this. Twist and turn with Nemo and Squirt within the vibrant and colourful world of Australia's tropical waters. Based on the Disney Pixar film, Finding Nemo. Are you kidding me? She said Nemo and Pixar are wrong. My one-year-old cousin can say Nemo and Pixar better than her. She said Nemo. She said Nemo. Disney Village. Sorted. Don't move. Next up, number nine. That was a really awkward dance just then. Did you see the look on her face? One of the things is enjoy even more. But just wait. Hold on a minute. Just wait. And uh, this is what they mean by enjoy even more. She looks pretty enjoy, doesn't she? Yep, it's relaxing. And... Another cringe warning coming up guys, it gets pretty cringe, so if you manage to survive the first cringe warning, which I'm surprised you actually did, then to save yourself from causing severe injury, please skip this segment, because I don't want to be responsible for any injuries during this reaction video. Oh, sorry, hi. <laughs> she was looking at the camera, why is she like, oh, sorry, hi, like, what? Hey, it's time to take a load off. Go what does she say? For number nine, on the top ten things to know before you go. Relaxation. Was there any need to slide off that chair? <laughs> Just the bare necessities. Oh no. Yep, that's it, that's it. The cringe war number two. Someone stop this woman and collect her, please. By the pool. Golf Disneyland. I'm sorry, who would want to do golf at Disneyland? I mean, what? Who would just go there just to play golf? Outdoor trekking with Davy Crockett's adventure. That's not the most unrelaxing thing to do. Like, I don't like tree climbing and stuff like that because I find it pretty scary, you know? So how would I find that relaxing? Just chilling out Disney style. Yeah, just chilling out. I mean... You're not, aren't you? You're not relaxing, you know, in that bit. You're swimming and ziplining. That's pretty relaxing, isn't it? But anyway, guys, it's halted there. So that mess was over. Um, I hope you enjoyed I hope you survived the whole thing because it was pretty cringe throughout. I mean, I can't lie myself. Anyway, I'll be seeing you guys later. Later on, probably this month. I'll probably be putting another video out there. But I hope to see you guys again if you're new. I hope to see you guys again if you're a subscriber. So anyway, like, subscribe if you're new. Notification. See you later, guys.